How much uh, Jeff, do you feel like you guys kind of set a tone for this one early with the, I guess, the four stacks right out of the gate? I know you had two of them. Man, that's that's we gotta we gotta start fast, and that's what we talk about as a defense. You know, um, we gotta gain, gain some momentum. You know, even you know so the game. This game is played. You know, all three levels: offense, defense, special teams. Sometimes the offense might not be you know on the road starting off, but that's something we talk about as a defense. We have to start fast. We have to give our offense you know good field position. We have to get off the field. You know, um, like I said, first and second down, be good. Third down, get sacks or whatever it may be. Second down, get a sack. But you know, getting um, pressures and sacks today was um, it was big. Jeff, do you like wins like this? Kind of grimy, dirty. You know, Saints coming back at the end. Um, just to be able to pull out one like that, do you, you kind of maybe like that? <coughs> I love winning. Um, I don't care how it comes. You know, uh, there's always room to improvement. We have to come back in, you know, when we come in on Wednesday, you know, to watch film and whatever it may be. Um, of course, each and every week you have to be better in this league. You know, um, each and every week you have to come and play. You never know, um, you know, you never know um, when another team, you know, can come in. Every, any team in this league can uh, get beat. So um, I love winning, winning this league. I learned since I've been in the league, it's hard to win this league. So, you know, we're going to enjoy this win. <clears throat> you know, uh, we always like tough games. You know, we don't – sometimes, you know, um, it might not be as tough as it was today. But, you know, as long as we got the dub, I'm um, satisfied. So. You got to the first half. And then the second half, Simeon was able to get some, more, get some throws off. Were they changing up anything on the line to more max protect or anything like that? Um, of course, you know, especially if you, you got a defense line who wrecking the game, we're going to see more mass protection, you know. Um, but it don't matter. We have to transition into the pocket. We have to be better even on, um, you know, the, that max protection because, you know, somebody got to win. Somebody got to make a play no matter what it may be. So, you know, eventually, you know, we, we'll watch film and see, you know, who getting the one-on-ones and, you know, even who not getting the one-on-ones. Everyone have to transition into the pocket no matter what. Relief was it when you saw the ball hit the ground on the two point play? You knew you got to stop. It's all relief, man. Defense came up big. Defense, um, I think it was Jay Young out there um, on his man. So you know, it's always just great. You know, especially not to take a game overtime to get a win right there um, on that fourth. I mean, on that um, two point conversion. Like I said, I was excited. You know, Jay Young was out there covering his man. Everyone did their job, and seeing that ball hit the ground, I was pretty excited because I was kind of tired. <laughs> so many games you guys have where the ball bounces your way like that. What is it, you know, since you've been here that you could put as, as a reason why it just consistently goes your way like that? Um, I guess we don't quit. You know, I think that's the that's just kind of the mindset of guys. You know, no matter you know what it may be, we're gonna fight to the end. Guys finishing the game, and that's that will happen when you finish the game. And um, you know, no matter, of course, they got a touchdown. God didn't put their head down. We knew they were finna go for two or whatever it may be. You know, early in the game, you know, they get a stop. Or, I mean, we get a um, they get a first down, whatever it may be. We have to come back and play the next play. And I think that's just the mindset of this team. You know, we're not gonna drop our head when the game get tough. We're not gonna drop our head when teams make plays. So we just gotta play the next play. Jeff, you're facing that two point conversion, Jeff. Uh, I mean, you guys have had so many big stops here uh, this year and in the past. Is there a confidence that that's built in those kind of situations? Yeah. You always gotta defend every blade of grass. You know, I said it early in the year. You know, no matter what. The ball could be on the inch yard line right there in the end zone. I mean, t- close to the end zone. You have to defend every blade of grass. I'm grass. And um, I think that's the mindset of this team since I've been here. You know, no matter what, like I said, we have to play the next play. Um, we knew they were about to go for two. Um, the game right there, we up by two, whatever it may be. So I think that's just the mindset of this defense. Um, we got to defend every blade of grass. You got five sacks in two games. Do you feel like the defense offenses are throwing everything they can at you already, or do you have to prepare for more now? Um, I'm, I just, you know, it's the game plan. I, I figure out what's the game plan for the week. You know, I got the, I eventually got the one-on-one on the first day tonight, and that's something we talk about. Guys have to win their one-on-one matchups and, you know, things like that in that nature. You know, guys on the back end, you know, covering guys, that's helping us get sacks. So, I, um, you know, whatever they give me, you know, um, I'm going to be prepared for it. I know, I mean, I see early in the game what a team giving, giving me, you know, they double me. You know, I got, I got dogs on the D-line, so if, if they double me, somebody getting one-on-one. So um, I'm just surrounded by, I'm just, you know, grateful to have a, gr- a group of guys on all defensive line. If we got a one-on-one, whatever it may be, you know, we expected to win, so. You played pretty well, you know, throughout since you got here, but the last few weeks it seems like you've gone to another level. Is that you? Challenging yourself? Is that the coaches challenging you? What is it? 
Um, I think that's just a part of this game. Each year, each game, each day, I want to get better. Um, you know, I want to play better each and every week. You know, hopefully next week, you know, I play at a higher standard because I hold myself to a higher standard. You know, you, I love what I do and, um, and I love who I do it with. So each and every week, I know my teammate hold me to a high standard and I hold myself to a high standard as well as the coaches. So um, eventually, you know, this got to get better. You know, we got to fix a lot of things on film and go back, go and see, you know, what we could do and do better, um, especially in the second half when they, you know, driving the score point, whatever it may be. But, you know, um, I love this team. So each and every week, you know, I'm just trying to get better each and every week. So. What did you say, Naquan, when he got his first sack? And how cool is it to see a young guy get a play work? Yeah, man, I remember my first sack as a rookie, you know, just that feeling. You know, I know he had that same feeling, you know, just being able to step in. You know, Tart was down today. Being able to step in as a rookie, starting that nose, you know, that that's a hard position to play. A lot of people don't understand that. And him beating that guard, you know, like he did, you know, that's prop to him. You know, I was happy for him. I told him that on the sideline. You know, I was probably I ran on the field. You know, it was about to be third down, so I knew I was on the field. So I ran out there to celebrate with him. Like I said, it's it's hard to get sacks in this league. And um, I'm, I'm happy for him. You know, he came in and helped us out this week. I mean, especially, you know, he made a lot of tackles. You know, he got the sack. So he played a uh, hell of a game. You know how difficult it is to win in this league, to rip off six in a row, five against playoff games. I mean, how much appreciation do you have for that? Like I said, man, I love winning. Um, like I said earlier, it's hard to win in this league. So you have to embrace, you have to love, you have to, you know, just take it all in, you know. But, you know, like, you know, Vray said something this week, you know, um, and it made sense. It says success um, brings confidence, but confidence don't bring success. You know, um, and I, that's kind of stood out to me because, you know, we could come into this game, you know, very confident. It's on, it's on premise of win. And each and every week, we have to prove it. And that, that's the best thing about this league. And that's the best thing, I think, about this team. You know, we're never satisfied. We're going to keep rolling. You know, we got a long, we got a, a lot of more games to play. And each and every week, you know, game by game.